Hey, Genesis family, this week's word of encouragement is Romans chapter 6, verse 13, where the apostle tells us, Do not offer yourselves to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and offer every part of yourself to him as an instrument of righteousness. Well, we've made it to August, and August is a transition month. We're moving from the soft routine of summer to the hard, fast schedule of the fall. Kids return to school, and adults who serve in the school return to work. And even if we don't have kids, we have to navigate the traffic produced by thousands of young adults who will flock to our campus in this university town. Yes, August brings with it the need to establish a new rhythm for life. Rhythm is the word God gave me at the beginning of 2024. As I spent time in reflection and asked God, what do you want me to focus and concentrate on? The word rhythm kept appearing. And as I pondered that and sought to understand what it means, I've understood more and more that rhythm is about getting tuned in to God and tuned up for God's plan for my life. Just like a mower or a car or a musical instrument, because of heavy use, needs to be retuned. So our souls need to be retuned after long periods of time. Heavy usage and all the different things that happen to us call us from time to time to get tuned up so that we can be a rhythmic witness of God. The apostle talks about us being an instrument of something, either wickedness or righteousness. That word instrument has been coming to my mind over and over, that I am like a musical instrument that can be tuned and played as a melody of God's plan to those around me. Or I'm like a precision instrument that a doctor might use to do what is necessary to bring healing to a patient. Instruments are all different kinds of things that are useful for a master who knows what they're doing. So you and I have a master who knows what he is doing, one who has a great plan for our lives if we would offer ourselves to him for it. That's what the apostle says. Don't offer yourself to sin. You become an instrument of wickedness. Don't offer yourself to the self-indulgence of our world and the me-centered living that so dominates our culture. Offer yourself first to God who has brought you from death to life and offer every part of yourself to him as an instrument of righteousness. So friends, we need to tune up. Sometimes we get a little loose and we need to be tightened up enough to be able to become sharp, to become discerning and aware of spiritual things. Or sometimes we get wound too tightly and we need to be loosened up a little bit so that God can play our lives as a melody of witness to those around us. So my encouragement to you is to offer yourself for God's rhythm in your life. As your routine will inevitably change in these next couple weeks, as the schedules of the fall will begin to mold and shape your life, as you'll have to get up more consistently earlier and you'll have to get to places instead of staying in your regular rhythms that you've adopted over the last couple months, and the long hot days will transition to the cool breeze of the fall, God wants to tune you up. God wants you to be an instrument of righteousness. We've got some exciting opportunities for you to offer yourself to God for being an instrument of righteousness. This fall, we're starting Wednesday Night Encounter. On September 11th, we'll begin to meet as a whole church family in our fellowship hall for a shared meal. Whether you are a family with a bunch of kids, a single parent, an older adult, or a young person in college, whatever your life situation is, you can all meet together with us at 545 in our fellowship hall and share a meal, be around the table in fellowship, and then we'll go to different classes where we'll be able to give ourselves to grow spiritually, to become more tuned in and tuned up for what God wants to do in our lives this fall. You'll be finding out more about that, especially on August 11th, where we'll be giving some specific details about how you can register for that and be a part of this exciting new thing in the life of our church. 
We're also going to be praying over our kids on August 18th, giving the back to school blessing. And the whole month of August is focusing in on our next gen ministry, our ministry to the emerging generation, infant to graduating senior, where we'll focus in the opportunities that are there to invest in this emerging next generation. So lots of exciting things, especially the conclusion of our Rise series on the Psalms of Ascent and the beginning of a new series called Ancient Paths, where we're looking at the disciplines of faith, the practices that we can live into that will produce the life that God wants in us. Lots of exciting things at Genesis. I'll see you Sunday.